This is Camp Kennedy. Whee! Man, it is wet, okay? It's a rainy day and I just love coming out on rainy days because you always get to see some interesting things. So today's bonus video is what I'm finding on a rainy day by the pond. And the first and most exciting thing that I think we're gonna find and what I might spend the entire bonus video talking about is Mr. Man has made an appearance. I haven't seen him since Derek Dietrich, the uh, Marlins baseball player, brought him with his mom. They drove him all the way down. But on a rainy day, that means some aquatic species will get out and wander. Here he is, Mr. Man. What's up, buddy? He wants to get on out there and kind of see what's going on. Let's pull him on out. Let's see if he's turned into uh, more of a cantankerous snapping turtle. So far, so good. He's not looking too angry, but he is a big boy. I'm going to try and get him to come on out. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh he's a, still a big, fat turtle, that's for sure. Oh, careful, Mr. Man. I just want to say hello to you for a little bit. Oh, yeah, there you go. All right, so there you have it. A big old angry snapping turtle here in this deluge as I talk to everybody. So Mr. Man's doing well. And like I said, you know, we get some rains. This is actually a nice warm rain. Uh, so the animals are all about, but there's some species I like to put away and gosh, look at how incredible he is, man. Just a beautiful snapping turtle. It's a common snapping turtle from Ohio. Uh, the common snappers tend to get that flat midline. I don't want to get hit by him, but he's looking good. Don't you think everybody? Mr. Man looking real good, hanging out here, uh, wandering around and being that he's a male, maybe he wants to kind of find some gals out there and that's when a lot of aquatic species start to wander around on land when it rains because it's, well, it's a more suitable time. And you see that defensive posture he's taken? They know how to use those shells and what they do is they angle their shell towards any danger. And of course, if I'm an animal and I start touching him, he just angles that shell and I can't get a good grip on him. You see that? Can't bite him at all. So that's pretty cool. They use that carapace as a shield. And as we know, the underside of a common snapping turtle is going to be much much less defended so that's why most of the time these guys will burrow into the mud and they'll kind of be ambush predators uh, they want to keep things facing down but my goodness how awesome are common snapping turtles to be honest guys these are like my favorite turtles i really really love them they have a such a prehistoric look to them and the sad thing is is oh, nice thunder the sad thing is about snapping turtles all over their range here, common snappers, the Florida snapper, uh, there's a Mexican snapping turtle, all very similar. Their range goes from Nova Scotia all the way down into Northern South America. I mean, it's an incredibly successful animal. And um, the problem is, is they are being fished out of their habitats now, and it's getting increasingly more difficult to find these animals. Uh, they're large, so they offer a lot of meat, and that's why people have to uh, fish them out. They're eating them. So snapping turtles are a species of concern, uh, and I would imagine if things keep going the way they are, with these animals being fished out and sent over to China, uh, we're going to see these numbers really dwindle uh, to where we're going to be looking at uh, a very rare animal in a few decades, if not sooner. So that's kind of a bummer I don't like to hear that or see that um, these animals are great but again talking a little bit about them now if you look underneath his chin there I don't want to get too close because he will nail me but underneath his chin he's got those little barbs those little tubercles I'd point them out maybe I'll do this I'll use a I'll use a bit of uh, ingenuity here we're gonna use some straw and I'm gonna go ahead and point to what I'm talking about right there those tubercles on a Florida saw a Florida snapper those are going to be much larger okay but they use these to kind of go through the um they kind of use them to feel through the mud and so on and that's how they're able to find prey in the mud really really cool animal so glad he's making an appearance uh, i haven't seen him since we put him in the pond and i knew i'd see him again one day but that's good that's what's cool about this pond you know the less bothering uh you do with the animals the better it is but I'll tell you, why don't we pick him up and bring him closer to the pond? It's going to be tough to do, but you notice where I'm going to grab him. I'm going to grab him behind the, the top part of his carapace, and he's a heavy guy. So I'm going to carry him like this, not by his tail, just by the upper part of that carapace. Oh, yeah, Mr. Man, you're a big boy. Oh, 
you're big, I know. I know, buddy. Oh, his claws are big. Oh, my arms give out. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Man. Whew, he's on a mission. He wants to go that direction. Mr. Man, turn around, buddy. Turn around and go to the water. Go to the water, buddy. Come on. There's a big old pond. I want you to go back in it. Uh, again, snapping turtles, so amazing. Uh, just that prehistoric look, that large tail. Uh, so many people will misidentify common snappers as alligator snappers, and that's just because most of the time, folks just think that they are uh, the most prehistoric thing they've ever seen. You know, they have, it's, it's very rare you come across such an amazing beast. Hey, I hate it when you leave, man. But I love to watch you go. Look at that cute turtle butt. Nice high stance. Let's get on up behind him. Look at that tail. That is Godzilla's tail, if I have ever seen one on a reptile. I mean, come on, it doesn't get better than that. Such an amazing reptile. So stoked you guys are getting to see him again. Uh, we, we are so happy to have him here. And shout out to Derek and his mom for bringing this beautiful animal to me and where he's enjoying the, the rain, walking around here in South Florida. He is definitely doing well. So there you have it, everybody. A uh, little sneak peek of what's going on with Mr. Man here in the pond. Come on, you're almost to the pond. Get going. I want I want you to go to the pond. Oh, he's turning around. He wants to he wants to do some business with me. Come on, turn around, buddy. I want you to go back. It sure would be nice if you head on out. Whew! I love him. And you know what's funny is these guys get such a bad rap. We've done videos, and there might be videos on the internet sensationalizing these turtles but they're not uh dangerous uh you know obviously if you leave them alone they'll leave you alone and when in the water you can step on these guys and they don't even bother you so don't be frightened of snapping turtles when you see them walking around across the road you grab them as i did with both hands under the underside of the carapace which is the top part of their shell and hold them away from your body and get them across the road uh, if you're too young of course Stay with your parents. Don't run out into the road on your own. Uh, ask an adult to help you if you see one of these animals crossing the road and just tell them how to grab them. Don't pick them up by the tail. Although, if you have to, drag them by the tail and get them across to safety. Whatever you can do to get these animals across to safety would be my advice to you. So, Mr. Man, let's go, bub. Come on. Oh, yeah, you're tough. I know, you're tough. Gosh, my wrists are getting old, man. Okay. Get over here. Get over there. Look, that's where you want to go. Come on, man. Get back in that water. Get back in that water, buddy. All right. See you later, Mr. Man. Thanks for visiting. <laughs> awesome, man. So as I said, pretty fun to come out in the rain. You never know what you're going to find. I had to do this bonus video handheld because it just showed up. Action just happens here at the camp. Uh, you know, you guys rarely get to see the camp from this vantage point. But uh, this is over by the pond, and I'm just looking at it because I'm getting ideas. There's so much little nooks and crannies here that need to be dealt with, and I need to get ideas about how I can landscape them and make it better for the animals. So that's what I'm doing right now. But there behind me is Camp Kennan Pond, and I hope you guys enjoyed this bonus. Leave a comment below. Don't forget to go subscribe to the Camp Kennan Army channel, and also you can upload a video. Ooh, we got a bug. Sorry. Anyway, good talking to you. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys all soon.